What it is now, my DP peeps, it's Josh with Deprived Productions with a 16th material tutorial video with the Unreal Engine 4, and guess what? It's awful dark, but it don't matter. Real quick tutorial today, guys. Just want to cover one node, real simple one, the Fresnel, Fresnel, whatever you want to call it, node. I just want to make sure we've gotten properly, the, the proper amount of information on that so you guys know how to use it. Sure. A couple real quick tricks, and I'll be out of here and see you next time. So while we're in the DP folder, don't pay any attention to that folder. i got to right-click and create a new material. I'm going to name it um, uh, Fres, 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 Fresnel. For Fresnel, the best, the best I can, and it's not very good. I'm gonna drag it on my mesh using the uh, the old UE4 mesh. You know what I'm talking about? And we'll pop it on both of them. It's two different materials there. If you click one here, it's two different ones. So we'll cover the whole thing, no big deal. Now, first thing we're gonna do real quick is while it's selected, go ahead and go from opaque to translucent because you know how I do it, son. Oh, by the way, knowing how I do, we're gonna drag it over here like that, right? R right? All right. But anyway, the point is, so we got our we got our nothing here, right? I just want to I want to I want to do something real quick. Type in the word Fresnel. You can press F R E and you'll see it right here, okay? And and, and just plug it into emissive collar and opacity. Plug them into both, okay? I just want to show you guys what's happening here and why so you understand. Now look at your mesh after it loads up. See see what's going on there? Okay. So, a couple things we can do with that. There's there's two exponents, two, two exponents here. We're not going to mess with much else. This this th imagine this number right here. This one whatever it is is basically how opaque or translucent it's going to be. So, if I set it to 1, you'll notice that all the opacity's gone. It's going to fill in the ball. Okay? Right? We'll fill it in. Oh, okay. So, let's 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 set it way down to 0 0.01. Okay? I got it way down there like that. Okay? So now it's got it's real opaque or real translucent in the middle. Now that ring and how thick or actually like how much that ring is actually and that again is just literally the edges. Because if you go to the plane and look at it, you don't see anything. You see, unless I tilt it like that, and then you might oh you see it. See how I see it when I'm tilting? Okay, it's the edge of the ball we're actually seeing. It's the edge. Zoom in here a little bit. The Fresnel's like making the edge glow and making the normal the normal mesh or the material translucent. This number right here, exponent, if I change it to 1, you'll notice now that the, uh, the ring, that uh, the amount that it'll actually show will be a little more. See what's, what's happening right there, okay? See how it's a little bit more? It's got a little bit more of a little more collar to it. Sorry, it takes so long to load, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it all the way up to 10. And think about it. If 1 was going to bring it down it was set to 5, that means now the ring should be really, really, really uh, small, right? Yeah, let's save that, okay? And after we save it, I'm going to go back into the world and show you what it looks like on our mesh. Now, the thing is, it's a little tricky, but it's kind of like an outline kind of look. I mean, this is very simple, obviously. I'll show you a couple things we can do. But we'll jump out here and look at it. And if you can tell, our mesh has kind of like a press G and get other real outline-y look, okay? But as you can tell, look, we see the top of the mesh when I come down and kind of check the edges out. Oh, look at it brightening up. Look at the bottom here. B bottom's right there, right? But if it's a, as I, as I come down, we lose it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, a little, little outline, a little goodness, a little goodness for you, okay? You may want to experiment with that a little bit. I mean, obviously, the first thing I would do is probably hold the number three, you know what I'm talking about, and pick a real nice blue color because I like the color blue, even though green's my favorite. Press OK and then hold the letter M for a multiply. Okay. And I would multiply the blue times maybe just uh, b this bad baby and plug it into the emissive collar. So the opacity still works the same, but the emissive collar now has this uh, blue collar that I've created, hopefully, after it loads. And then I would uh, let it... Oh, see, so you got the blue ring. Save it. Go look at it. Have the same mesh, but it's got that blue collar. Like I said, I mean, I know it's a real simple simple kind of act here, but I kind of just make sure you guys understand how this Fresnel node works. It's kind of kind of interesting. You know what I'm saying? Kind of kind of neat little outline. You got to be careful, though, because it's all based about where, how, where the camera is looking at the mesh. Because like I said, if I look at certain spots, I can brighten them up if it's just on the edge. And I could change that, right, with the exponent number inside the Fresnel. Well, check this out. Check out what I like to do, a little something-something, okay? We're going to drag a line out of here and type in 1 minus. Now, what that does, if I haven't explained it thoroughly before, is it actually does the negative. So if I plug this into opacity, well, now it's going to be the negative. So instead of, like, the inside being opaque, see, what, see what's happening there? Now it's trying to make the ring translucent and this still be opaque, okay? I'm going to make a couple changes now. You know what I'm talking about? Go into the Fresnel and set both of these to 0 0.01. So now I'm making all that translucency fade all the way in, right? Because now the ring would be huge. So there's only a little tiny spot of blue in the middle, and it's all kind of faded in. Uh, I don't know what it's going to look like. No, I'm just playing. But seriously, it's kind of like a, it's a weird look, what I've done there. But if you go back to your mesh now, you'll notice that it's kind of rounding off the edges. See what's going to make it kind of foggy looking. So it's taking the edges instead of making them hard. So now, check it out. If I go underneath my mesh, look at the bottom. It's almost not there. It's almost like it's not there. But as I come in, oh, you see it kind of fade in there? See what's going on? See as I go up, it's doing the opposite now. Oh, it's getting rid of it. Look, it's going, it's going translucent. 
And I'm saying, oh, this is a ball. So since it's a ball, it's kind of hard to get on just one side of it. But everything that's flat like this, and I'm talking about, you can see it kind of disappear as I go down. Even the top of that. You know what I'm saying? Just different things. I mean, it's freaking sweet, guys. Really cool how the Frenel works. Fresnel. Frenel, Frenel. Frenel, Fresnel. I don't know what to call it, but it's cool. All kind of words. But like I said, a couple different things to do there. You can do that kind of look. Or like I said, go back and get rid of this bad baby. Get rid of that, and you want the ring kind of look. Plug it back into opacity, and again, make sure you set this back up to a bigger number. I mean, you could do maybe like a, a two, okay? So if I do a two, it's going to have a pretty thick, pretty thick opaque ring on the outside of it where it's translucent in the middle, okay? So again, I'll save it, and we'll go back out, and I'll just show you the difference between this and the first one. And again, guys, I know, short tutorial. Really just wanted to cover this node because it's freaking sweet, and I know I hadn't really covered it in detail yet. So again, now, if you notice... Okay, we got, we got a little bit more of that light going on, okay? Now, but again, like if I'm, look, look, look right at the bottom here. See how the bottom has the, the blue as I come down? But as I get right underneath it, look, it's not there. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of trans, it's like fading. Kind of a neat look though now, right? You like that? See what's going on there? A real sweet outliney look. And uh, you could put it on any mesh, I mean, honestly. But it really looked, looked cool with the UE4 globe ball, the ball. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, pretty sweet, guys. Hey, just real quick, thanks for watching. Appreciate you jumping in here, jumping out of here. That's how I do Deprive Productions all day, every day. Josh here, loving you and missing you. Go hit that uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Deprive Productions. We got all kind of cool stuff. Just wanted to cover something real quick. Hit the Facebook page, Deprived Productions every day we've been hitting a lot of ue4 i'm about to bounce back into a couple other things but before then i got some other cool stuff to show you so get ready appreciate you guys we'll see you soon until then peace